your boy Ricardo and welcome back to Back on the Bang. In today's episode I'm doing a short product review of my Solar Undercover Camo Ruck Bag which in my opinion is stylish, affordable and packed with some decent features. So without further ado let's crack on with this review. So the Solar Undercover Camo Rucksack is probably one of my favourite purchases this year and the reason for that is because A, it is very very portable, um, not too big, um, I can get my essentials into it, I can get around and do shorter sessions with this with ease. Now let's talk about one of the main features of this rucksack, that being the camo style to it. It's um, very unique sort of camo style, not your usual DPM camo which quite a lot of brands have got at the moment. Definitely stands out and something that I'm really pleased with. A great thing about this rucksack is that it's very similar to the SP ruck bag in the solar range but it's a lot cheaper without losing some of the good features to it. So let's talk about some of those features. As you can see it's got one, two, three, four big compartments to put stuff on the outside of the rucksack. In uh, the smaller ones I tend to put stuff like uh, washing stuff, um, hand sanitizer, some jungle formula I've got in there for the summer months. You can put some smaller like, sort of items in that one. In this one I have my PVA bag stuff, some goo and a pair of pliers in there, uh, slightly larger items. In the top part of this rucksack I have my um, spare canister which obviously comes in handy for numerous reasons and then on the last uh, section of the outside of the rucksack, it's a slightly bigger one and I can, you can probably guess I use this one for my bank sticks and my Delkin alarms. So yeah, it's a nice uh, number of different size sections there on the outside of the rucksack. Uh, the second feature that I like is on the straps, you've got a neoprene sort of material on the inside of the straps which is really really comfortable and then you've got the chest clip there as well if you want to um, put slightly more in the bag and obviously support your back which is primary concern. Let's open up the rucksack then. Um, the main compartment is pretty easy to get to, you open it from there and wallop you're in. Inside the rucksack then um, are again a number of extra sort of side pockets to put stuff in. Um, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six internal um, sleeves where you can slide different bits in. So I'll put my bivy light in that one, I've got like a spare hat in that one, I'll put my air dry bag in there, um, pop ups and rig foam in that side. You get the idea, uh, my head torch case, some sunglasses and an additional pot of pop ups there. So yeah, a lot of stuff you can fit in the side pockets on the inside of the rucksack. And then you've got the main compartment. So in here I put all of my terminal and important stuff like my rig wallet, my tackle safe, and yeah, I've got some LEDs in there as well, in another case as well. But yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of space there with some additional room to maybe stick in a t-shirt, a couple of pairs of socks if you're on a shorter session. So yeah, really, you can get quite a lot in this rucksack despite the size of it. Um, the other thing I like about this bag is that it's got very tough zip system to it. So the problem in the past with certain bags, you know that zips can go and they do become a major issue. So yeah, on this bag, you can tell that the zips are gonna last a very long time. Um, which is nice to know. Another great feature to the rucksack is there's two neoprene handles either side as well so that you can transport it to and from your car and onto your barrow or if you're storing it it's quite easy to put in and out of a storage compartment which is nice. And last but not least one of the best features of this rucksack for me is that it's got a very tough and hard wearing PVC base. Now we all know how annoying it is putting your rucksack onto a wet floor like this for example and getting your bag dirty. Well Solar have got one extra and put a PVC base on the bottom which is very easy to clean and um, very very protective of your bag so it's going to last a lot longer um, on the bank. So yes all in all a very quirky and reasonably priced rucksack 
uh, I believe the RRP of this bag is about $69.99, um, so very affordable. If you are one to match up your luggage as well, you, you can rest assured that they have some other products within the undercover range. They have a rod bag, they have rod sleeves, they have some clove carriers, and I think they have a few other bits and pieces that match this. So yeah, check out some of their undercover range. It really is really nice and definitely worth looking at. I hope this product review has been helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you want more product reviews in the future, please let me know in the comments section below and I shall see you in the next video. Take care and tight lines. Thank you.